Welcome to Tackle Fanatics TV. With the popularity of the ESP Synchro Cart Mono, we quite often get asked the best way to load it onto your reels to prevent twist. Now, throughout, throughout the manufacturing process of this line, um, the manufacturer loads it onto bulk drums with the drum on a spindle, so it's spinning as the line's loaded onto it. And then we load the line onto these spools in our own factory, again with the bulk drum spinning as the line comes off it, and then it's, these spools are also loaded with, with them spinning. So we found, in turn, the best way to load it onto your reels, rather than having the line coming off the face of the spool, is to have it with this bulk spool spinning. So either with someone holding it with a pen or a pencil through the hole, or as I tend to do, because I like to soak the line before I load it onto the reels, in one of these narrow Tupperwares. So I just drop, drop the line in, in there, drop the bulk spool in, take the end, so that as I load it onto the reel, obviously this is spinning round, but it can't fall over. So I'll just put that over there and then I'll pass the end of the line through the butt ring on the rod and then take the spool. Now on this Onyx reel, the ESP Onyx reel, you can attach the line to the spool in two different ways. Either by tying a, a loop around the spool with a knot, and there's a, a reasonably large hole there that, take, that acts as a knot recess, so the knot sits down in it, or there's a much smaller hole that you can simply pass the line through to the inside of the spool, tie off a couple of granny knots, and it's just an, enough of the knot to prevent it pulling back through, and then you can just wind the line straight on. On the reel. Put the drag adjuster on and then just start winding. Now with a slow oscillation on these reels you get really good line lay coupled with the shallowness of the spool. But what you get by winding it this way is no twist at all. And even after the line's been on the reel quite a long time, I found it, there's still no twist, so you rarely get the, the line twisting up around the tip ring or anything like that. It just seems to behave really well by winding it on this way. It certainly seems to be a lot better than winding it off the face of the bulk spool. Obviously soaking the line as well makes it nice and soft. I usually soak it for at least a few hours, ideally overnight, and it goes on really soft, beds in nicely, and tends to behave itself very well. It takes a few minutes to wind it on. Approximately 300 metres goes on one of these shallow sp spools on the onyx reel. And I like to fill it right up to the to the lip of the spool and with the line laying the and the spool being nicely filled it means you can achieve excellent casting distances. You see that slow oscillation so it's resulting in very good lay on the spool. And the bulk spool in that tub is spinning around nicely but due to the the narrowness of the Tupperware, it can't fall over and you don't need anyone to hold it for you. So that's pretty much filled up. So I'll just clip it in the, in the line clip and there you go. One reel filled with the Synchro Mono, no twist. Through practice we found that's the best way to load line onto your reels. You've been tuned into TFTV. 
Tackle Fanatic stock an extensive range of tackle and bait from all the leading manufacturers. To check it out, go to www.tacklefanatic.co.uk. Member Tackle Fanatics also offer finance to make your tackle purchase more affordable. Tight lines and wet nets from everybody at TFTV.